Hi, welcome back to On Acting. Uh, in this video, we're going to be giving you some tips about what makes a good agent. Yeah, so what we're going to do is talk about uh, some things that would make uh, a personal manager or an agent or whatever they call themselves, depending on the market, uh, good. You know, because some qualities that you hope, uh, hope for. So first thing that we want uh, all the persons that we're working with, with our, you know, our agent slash manager, uh, we want them to be informed about what's actually in production. A lot of times there's uh, things announced in uh, trade magazines like the Hollywood Reporter, Daily Variety, uh, IMDb Pro, or a lot of stuff's out there uh, in the atmosphere about new projects being done and uh, who's going to direct uh, which project, where they're going to do it, and all this type of stuff is really good for them to know. So any agent that's good should always be informed. Yeah, so you want to use multiple sources of, of to get that information. I mean, you may, I mean, you probably don't know their sources, but. If they're if they get your work, they're this is probably what they're doing. Probably looking at, at things like trade newspapers, magazines, websites, stuff like Backpage, Hollywood Reporter, Daily Variety, IMDb Pro. Uh, they're all they should always be looking for new contacts or new sources of information so they can get their roster into the audition room first. Yes, yeah, and that's really important because. Uh uh, it's all about the agents being a proactive rather than reactive. They're making efforts to uh, find stuff uh, for their entire roster. They represent a whole bunch of clients. They've got all these people, uh, all these actors who they represent, and every move that they make uh, should be for the entire benefit of their whole crop roster. So they should be proactive and always looking for new leads, as it were. Yeah, yeah, you want to be motivated to improve their, their whole roster and be the kind of people who take suggestions well and try to figure out how to use them, you know, to, to improve everybody's, uh, everybody's career. Um, so a, a good agent will also advise you uh, about training and about career. They can advise you on things like, let's say, if you have bookings that are conflicting or which one you should pick if you can't do both. They could counsel you on things like uh, what your online presence is like, what websites you should join help you with resumes if you need help, like if you want to get new headshots, they could help you decide in between the proofs or like even uh, recommend photographers for you. Yeah, uh, they might even uh, have exclusive workshops or classes or things that they can get you in on. Uh, they might even organize a few of these things too, like uh, thinking about the care and uh, upgrades of their rosters. Uh, these could be uh, like, part of their involvement uh, like you know like if they have any kind of connections with the prominent uh, casting director they could maybe even suggest that you go to a specific casting director and take their workshops because it could uh, help increase like the contacts it gives the casting director an opportunity to see how you work and uh, uh, what things you can do uh, your skills and maybe even uh, what roles you might be good for in the future and then the, cat, then the agent benefits because uh, he's got you in front of the casting director and then uh, you and the rest of his roster and then also uh, the casting director can come to him for the, his, different, uh, his different talent and maybe even sell package deals. Like um, have him say, if you want this actor, then I can put them together with that actor or maybe just uh, three or four actors all from their same agency. Yeah. Yeah, a good agent also doesn't play favorites. You want someone who, who's going to put in the same amount of work for all of their clients. Uh, especially like if, if you have uh, a casting that multiple clients can are kind of eligible for, you want, you want someone to submit you to everything that you are eligible for and not just like pick a few actors to go here and a few actors to go there. Um, you need someone who, uh, and then it's, it's always good if they announce that they've gotten new clients to the industry, try to promote them at first, and also uh, announced uh, when their clients get really good roles in, in order to help with the promotion. With yeah, when you're first with somebody, like uh, you're brand new, so the agent should be excited. They should say, yeah, I've just signed this person, that person. So when they sign you, you would hope that a good agent would be excited about it and do like press releases and uh, uh, announce it to everybody in the industry and let them know specifically, hey, I just picked up this new client. Have a look at them. Uh, if you like to bring them in, book them, see them for a role or whatever, um, you can contact me. So let them all know not only that they've just signed you, but where to find you.
Yeah, and a good agent is also really good at communicating. But this is something you have to be good at too. So it's something where both the agent and the actor have to meet in the middle and do this together, which is you have to communicate frequently. You have to always be aware of each other's whereabouts. Always know what the scheduling are, what the schedule is. Uh, a good agent will always double check your availability if they want to submit you for something that they're not sure you will be available for. Uh, you know, because I mean, you, you can't just book someone for an audition that they can't make because that'll embarrass you in front of the casting directors, it'll create a lot of problems and it'll, make, it'll also embarrass the actor because he can't show up to, to something they want him to show up for. Um, you want to make sure, uh, the agents want to make sure they have all the necessary information uh, that you need so if the production uh, sends them something like some sort of information or ask them questions about them they make sure they get back to you so you know what's going on. Yeah, and also uh, when dealing with the different clients, not only should you share the, all the information about your scheduling and all the information that the production sends to you so that like you're prepared for the auditions and stuff. You don't just show up not knowing what's going on or what's expected or uh, missing sides or if anything changes, but also it, that's part of the communication and in the scheduling aspect of it as well. Uh, if you're dealing with multiple agents as well, uh, you want all your agents to, to know about each other so that uh, they can help with the scheduling so that there's no conflicts because you want to not only be informed but avoid any scheduling conflicts so that you're always there you're always where you need to be when you're supposed to be and you're as prepared as you can be under uh, at any given time yeah so good agent will try to market you in order to get you as much work as possible to keep you moving from production to production uh they need to have a clear idea of of who you are as an actor and what you can do although a, a lot of this has to do with you you have to provide them with that you have to show them either get some reels together so they can see what you can do or or showcase your talent somehow either through auditions or inviting them to performances um they uh yeah they they know what you're best suited for right what auditions you you're more likely to get and they will submit you to all of them but they also know what you can't do and they will and they know not to submit you to to things you're completely wrong for yeah so they always have a clear idea of how and when to market you and uh, like I said knowing what you can do knowing your skills knowing what you're best at what you're best suited for um, but yeah it is your responsibility to let them know uh, uh, anything that you in particular are good at or want to do because uh, it is a team effort so uh, yeah so you need to tell them they need to tell you and there's got to be really good communication so the all the ideas and the communication has to be transparent and clear uh, in order for uh, each of you to do your part in the marketing. Yeah, they'll also, um, they, they'll make deals for you, right? So if, if you're getting paid above the minimum, they'll try to work out better deals for you because that affects how much money they make as well. They, they oversee the current deals and make sure everything goes as planned. If a production company is forgotten to pay you or is taking too long to do it, they'll bill, they'll bill them. And of course, they'll keep records of your earnings and, and what the fees are that they charge you and whether you've paid them or not. Yeah, so um, when it comes to like billing productions and stuff like that, um, it can get a little confusing because all the contracts and the terms and conditions and all these different things uh, vary from every project, especially things that they might ask you to do on set that you're not expecting. And uh, uh, a lot of times if they ask you specifically to do something that could mean more money. Yeah. So you want to talk to your agents and let them know uh, if there's anything that you feel uh, not only just safety purposes, but uh, uh, for not just health and safety, but also uh, something that uh, asked above and beyond what was initially uh, asked for you to do because uh, in, the, in productions, they always change things from moment to moment. So uh, if anything like that arises as well, you want to consult with your agent and they'll negotiate uh, good prices and good deals and uh, have your best interest in mind. Yeah, yeah, and they they can help you fix problems on sets too. I mean, once you join a union, the union will help you with this kind of thing too. But at first, it's going to be your agent. Uh, there, they should always be available to answer questions or to alleviate concerns. And of course, they'll they have to make sure that you understand what your rights and responsibilities are uh, as an actor. But you you should uh, know some of this as well. Right. It's it's both. It's up to both you and your agent to uh, be informed and to know as much as you can and then share that information so that uh, uh, you don't really get cheated out of any money and you don't put yourself in danger and uh, everything is just running smoothly.